Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am starting to work on my next custom order, which is this Better Homes and Gardens sewing book. And um, I've been collecting stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little session of putting some things together for the book. Not sure what. I have gathered a whole bunch of stuff. I'll show you that. And um, I just thought I'd turn on the camera so you could craft with me. So this um, sewing book, of course, is from the 70s. And it's um, actually the copyright is 1970. And so I've already gone through it. And as I usually do, I've just left a couple of pages in each section. There was a couple of them, though, that I wanted to show you because they were so cool. <laughs> um, let's see where they are. Uh, let's see. Some, I don't know. Oh, this one was cool. Um, a fabric dictionary. And it has all different kinds of fabrics. And then it's got the, you know, what they, what they might look like. And it's just, it's totally 70s fabric, so it's just really kind of fun. Um, and then I tried to keep the pages, the two pages that would have something fun, like these, like these ladies. So I did, I did that, and then um, here are all the pages that I took out. And um, I grabbed these two because they had some fun images on them, and I thought I might do something with those. So these, um, these are just extra if, if we need them for something. And um, they'll go to the new owner of this journal once it's done. I wanted to show you the children. Um, let's see. Oh, these are kind of fun too. The suit section has these, has these trims. Kind of fun. And this one is about coats. And so it's got wool and the camel's hair and cashmere. The kuna. I don't know what that is. You guys might. Mohair and alpaca. And so it shows all the... Uh, I thought that was fun. And then in the children's section... Let's see. I had I, I ended up keeping like five pages because look at these illustrations with the trim. Isn't that so fun? And appliques. Yeah. So I had to keep, I had to keep all of those. And this one, keys to... Or key accessory, key accessories to suit color. So this is a fun one too. So and then in this um, sew for your home part, I kept a few of those that had bright pictures in them. So there's that, and these two pages that we can do something with. Okay, so then the other thing I grabbed, which is completely buried in my stack of stuff to show you. Let's see. I think I'm going to put the book over here for a second while maybe, maybe we'll just set it down here so that I can easily grab it. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of Tsunami Rose stuff. Um, her sewing. I already had them coffee dyed and everything. I don't know. And then some tags so I don't know if I'll use those or not but and then this fun fabric I just got this fun fabric from a friend let me get it up there so you can see and it's little children's clothing and patterns so that's fun then I have a stack of 70s um, 70s patterns that I can use the insides, the outsides. These I thought were kind of cool with the sewing machine, so my, they're kind of torn up, so I might do something with those. And then um, I have a bunch more in here. Look at this one. That's before the 70s, but isn't that cool? Am I even in camera? <laughs> oh, and then I really like this. Um, I like this swimming suit one too because it's definitely 70s. So, so there's, there's some patterns to use. So let's see, I'll set those someplace. I'm gonna have stacks all over the place, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Then I have these two books that are kind of fun. Um, 
old books and have some fun illustrations in them. That we might use some of the pages from that. And then I have this one. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, there's a pattern in that one. So, those two vintage books that might come in useful. So, I'll set those aside. This is what I was digging for. <laughs> So um, I had shown how to take the spine off a little golden book and I did the Brave Little Tailor because I'm going to include, I'm going to include this book in, um, in that, in the sewing journal because how perfect is that? So I will have these to make, I don't know, a stash buster journal or something with. But um, don't need those right this minute, so we'll set those aside. So those can go in. And then I have my vintage wallpaper to play with, too. I have lots of packs of that. So don't exactly know what we're going to do, where we're going to go, but I do know I want to get this little book ready. So I'm going to grab my uh, paper cutter. And because for this journal, we're going to cut the pages apart. So, okay. So right here, I have my template. This is just my template for the five ring binders. So I just wanted to see, see as it is, it's going to be, it's going to be too wide. It's going to stick out a little bit. So I think I can take it off just right where the color is and that should work great. So let's do that first. Hope everybody's having a great day. <laughs> now, this is the part that I find tricky, keeping the, keeping the pages in order. I, I, I know I, I did a video on that earlier and um, everybody was like, how do you keep, you know, when I do the golden books, how do you keep them in order? Well, this part is harder for me than that. Okay, so that's that's the first page. So this is going to be the last page of that signature. So it's harder for me when I cut them apart than when I keep them together. So, okay. So that's the last one of the signature. Okay, so then this page. I'm so glad that you guys have said that you like the Craft With Me videos because I really like doing them. I mean, it's, it's almost as if I have someone here with me to talk things through and stuff, so... It's fun. Okay, so that was this was I think that goes like that. <laughs> oh. It'll end up in order, I think. We're we're gonna think positively. I'm sure it's gonna end up in order. Oop. Gosh, that doesn't help much, does it, to have that there? Okay, so then that goes over here. And this one goes here. Okay. So that's okay. So then this one... This page is going to go over on the beginning pages side. Like that. And this one. See, it doesn't help when I have to turn it over to make it straight. <laughs> that gets me confused too. Oh man. Okay, so.
okay, I feel like <laughs> I've got these mixed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to set those up there. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I know that was dead silence. I'm just like trying to figure this out. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll get it in order. I, I, I honestly really don't usually have this much trouble, but then I'm not usually talking as I'm doing it either. Cheesy peasy. I don't even know. Okay, well, we'll see. We may read the story together <laughs> and decide how it how it best goes. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, you know we've got the king and the queen and all that stuff happening, so we got to put that part together. I'm guessing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I think, I think I might have the answer maybe, which is that this, these go after these because is that from the new one? One, two, three. Yeah. So these, yes. Okay. He bought himself a piece of cheese, stuffing the cheese into his pocket. I'm saying those go together. Okay. And then this was, see, carry the tree. Oh, look, the tree goes right there. Look. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. There, and that tree goes there. Okay. Okay. We got dinner. We got drinking things out of mugs. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is looking up. Okay, and then in the middle of the night, heard footsteps. Okay. Brave little tailor. Okay. Uh oh, the princess is. Oh ho! He says, Oh ho! cried the tailor. The princess is mine. I killed those giants last night. Go and see. So the king sent his army. Ha! Oh, we're good. <laughs> Sorry, that was so that was so tough. Okay, so now comes the easy part where I punch the holes. Oh, except for I need a hole punch, don't I? Details, details. Okay. So then usually I can do about three of them at a time. And so I just line them up and kind of center them a little bit and punch, punch, punch. Okay, flip those over. Do not get them out of order. <laughs> oh, gosh, sorry, that was so hard. Yeah, that would that take 15 minutes of the video? me humming and on and trying to figure out the order of this book oh yeah if anyone ever tells you making a junk journal is quick don't believe them <laughs> it's just way too much fun but it's also not that quick I don't know maybe it's quicker for people who don't lose their lose their spot like I just did gosh Okay, this is going to be awesome, though. Don't you think this little tailor book is just perfect for a sewing journal? Yeah. I love it when a plan comes together like that. I'm trying to even remember where I found that, that one. I think that was a thrift store find, actually. And or the antique mall. I can't remember. But I remember thinking when I saw it, wouldn't that be perfect for a sewing journal? And here we are. So, 
So anyway, doing this, I'm hoping we'll show you how how I kind of my mind works on putting together one of these five ring binders somewhat. Okay, so then I go ahead and put these in the binder, and that is because as I'm building it, I want the colors to go together. And so I just kind of let's see. There's 19 of these, and there's, let's see, 12 pages. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll skip those ones that I, where I had extra papers anyway, because they were cool. You know, the one with the fabric dictionary and stuff. So, yeah, so I like these to go in so that... Like when I do the wall, when I start doing the wallpaper or something, I can kind of match it to the colors. That's, you know, have it look, have it look put, pulled together. I always leave the two pages of the book, though, at the beginning and just as they are because um, they just automatically go together, I guess. I don't know. That's the only reason I can think of off the top of my head that I do that. <laughs> oh, so, so we had, my husband and I had a little road trip today. He had a meeting out of town, and so I went with him, and I went to the Joann's, and I found some fun charms for this book. I'll show you my little ephemera that I've gathered after we get this book in there. Maybe I put one in this in the fabrics. Oh nope, special fabrics. I think that's that's the one that has the fun. Oops, I guess we got. I don't need to keep opening and shutting that, do I? I don't know where my brain is at. Probably because I was sleepy on the car ride home. <laughs> I'm still in my drugged stupor that I get in when we're when we're driving on the highway. Oh yeah, there's that one. So I'm gonna skip that one because it had three pages already. I think we'll put one in put one in the back of sportswear. We're good. And the suit one had those fun trims. So I have left two. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll skip all these and go down here to the ones that don't have the extras. Although that has some pretty colors. There's only two, so let's let's do 17 and 18. Okay, 17. And Okay, so then I want to show you my little pieces that I grabbed to play with. Okay, so we got our storybook included. We're, we're on the right track anyway, huh? So here's my little dish of stuff. Oh, I grabbed these too. I thought these would make cute um, fabric ruffles and they're bright and happy colors. So grabbed a couple of those. I grabbed this old tape measure that is old, old, old because that might be fun. I have a bunch of um, these seam binding things that I can put on the sides or something. Got, this came off of a pattern. There's some snaps. 
these charms I got at Hobby or no Walmart sewing charms and these were the ones I got today I loved these I thought they were really cool they were 50% off at Joann's so that was great then I have this wonderful embroidered applique that I got from Diane Fortin she's DF embroidery on Etsy so I thought maybe I'd use that somewhere I grabbed a variety of button cards mostly vintage I have these little cards that I got um, a friend had done a garage or had been in an estate sale and found these little cards so those be fun and then I just have this 70s kids iron-on patches oh I was wondering why that went so I have two of these old um, fabric tape measures this one's a little grungier than this one I don't know which one we'll want to use so we'll just tuck them both back in there and and so anyway so that I grabbed that so what do we want to do I think I'm gonna start with the vintage wallpaper because um, I really like to have like uh, at least one page in each section that either has wallpaper on it, is a wallpaper pocket, or something. These are kind of more muted. Oh, not all of them. Just the ones in the clip. These, I think, these are the ones that I used for my handyman journal. Ooh, look. That's fun. So that's fun. And I don't know. I just kind of look and pull out some of the ones that I want. Oh, I should say too that these um, vintage wallpaper pieces come from Colleen Abin on Etsy. If I can remember, I'll put these people's names and or links to their shop down below, but I always have trouble remembering to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Just going to kind of pick some ones. This one says, absolutely fantastic, marvelous to be Miss Flower. That's kind of fun. Well, let's face it, these are all 70s. There's a good one for a tuck on the side of the page. Let's see. There might be some that I don't like for it, like those. That's fun. Okay, okay, these can go back in the pack. I mean, we have a limited area to work here, so we gotta, usually I'm spread out all over my six foot table, but this is my filming table, so I'm learning how to work on it too, which is okay because my big table I stand at, and sometimes, sometimes a girl just gets tired of standing. That's what happens. That's fun. That's mod looking. For those of you that will even get that reference. <laughs> Here's another strip. That's, that's fun. I want him to really be shouting 70s at me. Like that one. Psychedelic, right? Groovy. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, way too much fun. That's a cool one. Yeah, and there, I have quite a few of these, but they're they're fun. And these are kind of shabby, cheeky ones. I should be turning this this way so you can see too. Sorry about that. Yeah, that could be a flower journal too. You know, I'm just kind of thinking of other things that I would have in my yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good with that one. Can you tell that I've ordered from Colleen and Bean a time or two? <laughs> yeah. I have. I love I love her stuff. She this one's good. I think that's fun. Oh definitely this one. 
That looks like somebody's hair or something. I don't know. Um, this one's good. Okay. So this little packet's getting kind of skimpy. I guess it's time to reorder. Maybe not. Maybe it's time to just consolidate all my packs. <laughs> okay. That one's good. That one's pretty 70s. I don't know, that does look 70s. And it would be cute in half. Yeah, let's put it in the to be considered pile. Sorry, I did it again. Okay, well, mushrooms and stuff, that was definitely 70s, so. Oh, but that'd be good for a cooking journal. Okay, I rethought that. Flower. Mm -hmm. It's a good flower one. I'm fighting with myself over the flowers versus... Oh, that's just two 70s, though, to be denied, isn't it? We'll put that in the in the pile. Here's another piece of that. Oh, it's like a hot air balloon slash carousel. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's definitely 70s. So that'd be cute in a nature journal. I haven't remembered that I had that one. That's not a good 70s one. Okay, only one more, you guys, only one more. Oh, here's, here's some more of those little drummer guys. But that other one just folded so nicely. This one's gonna have this guy in. I think one of those in there is going to be good enough, don't you? Oh, look at how funny. That must have been bathroom wallpaper. <laughs> look at <laughs> girls and ladies. Too funny. There's a hound dog. A lot of animals in here. Oh, I'm seeing another 70s coming up. This one. Yeah, I love that one. That one's going to be great. Okay. Ooh, this is great. This is a good 70s one, isn't it? Garland Magazine. I don't know, but... Okay. We've picked out some to work with. Just narrowing down what's on my desk here. Okay, so there's going to be sewing involved, no doubt, because that's usually how I do the wallpaper. And so, okay, so I'll toss these over on my other table. Those are out of our way. So, so, so this one hits me right off the bat. I want to make a pocket out of that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move these over. Get rid of my charms. Move my template. Actually, I'll keep that handy and just to make sure that I'm you know within the width. I might want these. I don't know. So we'll see. But let's get the sewing machine over here and you start playing. You've been patient waiting for me to play. <laughs> Mostly I've just been trying to put a book together ineptly and I'm trying to see if yeah, I'm in camera. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I have brown thread in here from doing my last bit of sewing. I think on this one. 
You know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to punch holes just because then I can miss it with my sewing. Okay, what did I do with my hole punch? Over here. Yeah, this hole punch really gets a workout when I'm doing these five ring binder journals. Okay. So. I love that one just the way it is. So let's just let's just make it a pocket. Oops. I was already already on, already ready to go. So I'm going to go back and forth a little bit on this. And you're probably going to ask me if I use a special needle for wallpaper. I don't. Um, I try and use a needle that's for heavy fabrics always when I'm sewing on paper. But, um, okay, I got a little too close, so we're just going to change it to a straight stitch and go right down the edge here. back to the zigzag and go up this side. But see, by punching the holes first, then um, then I, I can sew, I can avoid them as I sew. And so that's good. Okay, so we got one done for, what did I say, 19? <laughs> Something like that, sections. Yeah, yeah, 17, 18, 19, yeah, 19. So we need to make probably 19-ish things with wallpaper, but see, look at how cute that little pocket is. That's going to be fun. Okay, so we'll set that over here on our book. Let's see what else we have. Do we have, oh, this one was also one that I thought could be a pocket. Um, for like a long skinny tag, maybe even a Tracy Fox inspired tag in that one. Oh, so one other thing I'll show you is I also, excuse me if I get hit the camera. Ugh, I can't hardly reach it. Okay, so then I'm just going to clip this so that, there, so that it's easy to get in and out of. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay. Well, rather than, I know I want to make a pocket out of that one and we'll sew around that. So that's good. But what I was looking for is, do I have any that are like page size? This is close, but so where are, where are these two little pages that I was looking at. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's see if we have one that fits, have a piece that fits right above there. That's kind of fun. I'm not sure if there's anything that would fit me better. That's too small. Okay. Well, that's okay. Let's let's do this one and I am just going to I'm just going to sew that on there. And this side has these pretty trims. 
that's fun. So do we then want to maybe on this side do something? Where is that one that I said looked oh like this one? Mm, I don't love it. The thing is you can always go back to and glue something on there too if you want but I kind of just kind of like that the way it is okay well let's do this I'm going to use just my little tape runner here and just put a couple just right there and then I'm just going to line this up so that it comes to the end of the Oop. Didn't quite didn't quite get it where I wanted it. The the um, wallpapers aren't necessarily like square or whatever either, so you never kind of know. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm again going to clip or punch, I guess, more so these holes. And this one's just going to be decorative. This isn't going to be a pocket. So I think I'm going to cut this too just so I can see where I'm sewing. Because I'll be sewing from the other side. I'll say that. Maybe, maybe we can use that somewhere. I'll put it in my scrap bin there. Okay. So then... Let's just, maybe we want to do some sort of a, let's do, let's go up here and let's do flowers up here. Let's see, where are we at? Okay, see how this goes. always kind of takes a while to do these decorative stitches. It doesn't go quite as fast as a straight or zigzag stitch would. But I think it's going to be cute. And then we'll just do plain straight stitch around the rest of it because it's not going to show anyway. I mean, with the pattern on the wallpaper and stuff. I'd say we have maybe two more flowers. Maybe only one. Nope, two. stitch and we'll just go down the side. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Ooh, I'm going to have to pull down the hole. Just is all more or like more or less just a little background paper, really, you know. Um, yeah, cause the I, I I will I really like to leave these so that they are more or less um, just background and can be, you know, like she could put a picture here or something, whatever. So. 
kind of just prepare these for everyone else's creativity, sort of, you know? I like the stitch on the back, too. That's kind of nice. Okay, so there's another wallpaper one. That's awesome. Okay, so what else do we want to do? First of all, I want to take off my sweater. I am hot, hot, hot. Okay. Um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should we do now? We don't really have... This one's almost the size of a page, isn't it? Oh, you know what? Let's do with this one. Let's, let's put a fabric ruffle down the edge of this one. I always kind of check to like this one's good some of these some of these will be crumbly on the back and so those ones I always try and back on a page or on decorative paper or something so let's let's do this let's go down this side okay Awesome, awesome. Look at us making progress. Okay, so now I don't know how everybody else does this. I do it badly. <laughs> no, I don't I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not great at this, I don't feel, but I'm not great, but I'm I'm not horrible either. It's I just have my own way of doing it and please tell me in the comments if you have an easier way. So I'm going to do zigzag, whoops, and what I do is I start out and then I lift my presser foot and I scrunch up the fabric. Is that how you guys do it? I don't know. And then I kind of get to the end of one and I lift it up and scrunch some more under there. It's not very scientific how I do it, but... I don't know. Works for me. It works for me. See, I feel like I am wasting a lot of the paper, but okay. we're gonna go all the way down this side just because I love this fabric and there's a lot of it so I think it'll be fun just to have that little happy color I want it to be here's here's my thing about my little ruffles I want them to be more random than they are but, I don't know, I just tend to make them pretty, it's like, they're all, all the ruffles are the same space part kind of and stuff, but, oh well, it's okay. careful not to cut the strings so we have some more for another page that's that's a happy happy page I love it okay so there we go there okay then we'll just, I guess we can go this way and get the holes punched. And then I think I might turn off my camera 
and load this video and if I don't know even what time it is because that's what happens when I get in my craft room. I lose track of time. But um, if I have time to work some more, maybe I'll just turn on the camera again and and do a part two. What the heck? Why not, right? If you guys don't mind me humming and hawing and figuring things out. Okay, that's a fun page too. And then the back is just plain so she could either write on it or decorate it or whatever. Okay, there's wallpaper number three. So here's what we have so far. Pocket, decorated page, and another decorated page. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna turn, uh, turn it off right now and we'll see where we at. Maybe we'll, we'll do another one. Thanks everybody for crafting with me. We'll see you next time, bye bye.